Namaste Pranam. My name is Lisa McBride and today we're going to do a short yoga class that is suitable for beginners or anyone who has an interest in yoga. This is a traditional yoga practice and the most important thing is that you remain really relaxed, okay? So no stress, nice and relaxed. And we're going to begin by swinging the arms front to back. Nice and gentle, you can close your eyes, let your arms swing. Don't use the muscles in your arms, totally relaxed, relaxed. Lovely, now reach the arms up overhead and then let the arms drop and swing again. Nice and relaxed. And stepping the right foot in front of the left, a gentle rotation of the spine with swinging the arms. So, we're going to reach the arms up and let them drop back. Again, really relax, nice and lethargic, no effort. Go on to the back. So, front, drop the arms, and then back. You're turning that back foot in, turning the knee in, and the same to the back. This time add the breath, inhale to the front, exhale to the back, inhale to the front, and exhale to the back. Inhale back to the front, and then let your arms drop and swing. Relaxed, relaxed. Good, now this time we're gonna free our shoulders. So lifting the shoulders up and down. Think about lifting them up, they will naturally drop down. Good, freeing your shoulders, relax. So stepping the left foot in front of the right. And we'll do the same swinging of the arms. So inhale to the front, exhale to the back. Nice and relaxed to the front. Exhale to the back. Inhale front. Exhale back. Inhale to the front. Exhale back. Inhale, front, lift your heart, and then drop your arms and let them swing. Well done. So we're conserving energy, conserving oxygen. Bringing your hands onto your hips. Let's take the hips side to side. Good. And then keeping the legs about 18 inches apart will free your spine, so we're turning, arms are relaxed, face is relaxed, freeing the spine. Good. And then come back to the front, free your shoulders. Well done. Interlock your fingers, turn your palms away from you, and then take the arms up towards the sky. So give us a little shimmy in the waist and the shoulders. Good, now let's come up off your heels a little, doesn't have to be too high. Hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Lower your heels. Take the arms in front and then free your shoulders. Drop the arms, nice and relaxed. Good. This time take hold of your right wrist. Send the shoulders forward and then bring that arm up towards the ceiling. Okay, so your brain is in the right hand side of your spine, reach up, reach up more, good, come up off your heels just a little, reaching up, hold for about seven seconds, 
and then release your heels back to the floor, hands back out in front, free your shoulders. And then drop the arms and let them swing. Well done, good. We're gonna do that to the other side. So grabbing hold of the left wrist, bring the shoulders forward, take the arms up towards the sky and come up off your heels. Hold for about seven seconds. Good, heels back to the floor, arms out in front, free your shoulders. Drop the arms, let them swing, nice and relaxed. Heart rate remains low, blood pressure is low. You're consuming less oxygen. Free your hips, side to side. Now we're gonna try a simple balancing pose. So we'll begin stood on the left leg and reach back and take hold of the right foot. Now, if you can't take hold of the right foot, just bend that knee up a little. Good. Left arm then reach it up the inside of the body, conserving energy. Reach that left hand up towards the ceiling. Good. Hold for a few seconds. Nice and relaxed. Lower the left arm, lower the right leg. Well done. Now we're going to free the legs. So hands on the hips, keep the foot on the ground and move from the hip down into the knee to the ankle joint. Good. Free the other leg. Well done. So let's try that balance pose stood on the right leg. So taking hold of the left leg, Taking it back behind. Don't worry if you wobble. And then reach the arm up the inside of the body. Reach up towards the ceiling. Good. Hold only for a few seconds more. And then lower the arm. Lower the leg. Free the legs. Other side. Good. Free the hips side to side, nice and relaxed. And then free your spine. We'll begin by turning to the right. Arms are really relaxed. Face is relaxed. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Lovely. Arms front to back. Good, back to zero resistance. No effort, no stress. So we'll move now to a simple triangle pose. So step the feet a little wider apart and then turn the right toes away from you. So turn them out, hands on the hips. Send your left hip out to the left hand side. Good, keep your chest elevated a little. Lovely. Bring the right hand, place it right in the top of the right thigh. And then if you can, reach the left hand up towards the ceiling. Good. Your gaze is down the left side of the chest. Get nice and relaxed. If you want to take this further, let the arm bend and drop behind the head. Good. Keep pushing that left hip out. Lovely, let's take the arm back up towards the ceiling and come back up. Lovely, free your legs. So we're coming back to zero resistance. Other side. Good. So let's try that simple triangle pose on the other side. So again, the feet step them wider apart. Turn the left foot out, hands on your hips. Send your right hip out, left hand to the top of the thigh. Good, keep sending that right hip away and reach the right hand up towards the ceiling. Now take your gaze down to the right hand side of your chest, just to give your neck a bit of a rest here. Lovely. If you want to go further, 
take the right arm, let it bend, and relax into this pose. Good. Bring the hand back up. Come back up. Lovely hands on the hips, free the legs. Good. And then free your spine for the count of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good, so I hope you're still feeling nice and relaxed. For our last pose, we're going to move into a warrior. So warrior two. Step the feet slightly wider apart than you would have for your triangle. Turn the right foot out. Take the hands to the hips and bend the right knee, straighten it up. Just getting used to bending that knee, but having the shoulders facing forward rather than over the right knee. So shoulders and chest in line. Good. Bend into that right knee and then take your left hip, send it out, just like we did in triangle pose. Lovely. Right elbow to right thigh and reach the left hand up. Gaze is down to the left hand side of the chest. Remember so that you don't put any pressure on your neck. And again, if you want to take the stretch further, let the left arm drop overhead. Good. Put a little pressure on the outside edge of the left foot. Lovely. Let's come back up to the center of this pose. Take the right arm, take it behind the head, left arm behind the back. Good. Then open out for our classic warrior two. Look back towards your left hand, send that left shoulder back, and then take your gaze down the right hand. Well done. Hands back to hips. Turn that right foot in, scooch the legs in a little, and then come down into a squat position, elbows down onto the thighs. Relax the head, free your shoulders like this. Good. And then bring the feet together and free your arms. Well done. We're going to free your back for the count of seven. So one, two, three, four, five six and seven so let's try our warrior two pose on the other side again step the feet a little wider turn the left toes out hands to hips and again get used to bending into that left knee so bend it straighten up bend straighten good and bend hold it put a little weight on the outside edge of the right foot lovely and then take the right hips out to the right just like in the triangle pose elbow to knee reach the right hand up towards the ceiling gaze is down the right side of the chest good if you want more of a stretch let that arm drop back well done then let's take the left hand back behind the head, right hand behind the back. Extend the arms. Look back towards the right hand. Take that right arm back. Gaze towards the fingers of the left hand. Well done. Hands to hips. Bring the legs in again for our squat pose. Elbows onto knees, relax the head, shimmy the shoulders a bit. Lovely, and then let's come up back to zero resistance. Arms front and back. Well done. Now free your shoulders. So shoulders moving up and down. Again, thinking about moving them up and naturally they will drop down. 
And lastly, we're going to free our spine for the count of seven. Turning to the right for one, two, three, four, relax, five, six, and seven. Good, well done. Thank you for participating in the world of well-being at Belfast Mela at Home. Thank you to my teacher, Dr. Kumar at Traditional Yoga and to all the yogis and saints that have come before us. Have a great day. Namaste.